Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a video on a DIY eyebrow tint and we're going to be using this mustache and beard dye for men and it's um, the Just For Men brand and this is like my second time trying to film this so I'm just going to go right into it. Um, obviously you're going to need the box dye here and I got mine from Walmart. I will be telling you everything that's included in the box and also going through the instructions but in addition to this the things that I use also were I used the Pro Conceal. Um, I used it in a shade that's like close to my skin tone so I'm using the color warm honey you're also going to need an angled brush so this is just a regular angled brush you can get this from anywhere most people probably have them if you fill in your eyebrows and also you're going to need some type of spoolie I'm just using this one um by NYX it's on my eyebrow pencil here so I'm using that spoolie so you're going to need a makeup remover wipe or some type of baby wipe of some sort so up on right now, I've just moisturized my face with shea butter. So I'm going to just wipe off any excess oil off my eyebrow so we can make sure that the eyebrow is completely clean of any oils or just anything that would interfere with the dyeing process. So I'm going to do that on both sides. Now I have opened this box before and took the plastic and all this stuff out just because I've tried to film this video before now and just didn't go the way I wanted it to go and some of the footage got deleted so I'm doing this over again but I got the color um, M47 which is the rich dark brown color and this is the box on Walmart um, they vary by the guidance on the box but as long as you get the right color um, to match your eyebrows and your skin tone then you should be fine um, this was like seven dollars at Walmart comes with the instructions we'll get into those in a little bit and it comes with these items here the first item that you have is the color developer which looks like that then you also have the color base which is this and you have the entire thing which is the mixing tray and also you have a brush so this is like the brush. This is like if you were actually a man and you were trying to like dye your beard or something. So this part would not be getting used at all. And also they do include gloves, but I'm not going to need these because it's not like a hands-on process. So I'm not going to need those. But so we're just going to put these to the side. Okay, before I start showing you all what to actually do with your own brows, first I'm going to just start by telling you the steps of how to get the mixture for your eyebrows so I'm just gonna go by reading the instructions here and the first thing they say to do is to um, put your gloves on which we're not doing um, squeeze a lot of the color base into the mixing tray on one side of the raised line then you're gonna squeeze the color developer into the mixing tray on the other side of the raised line and you're gonna try to mix the exact amount so you can't really see but it has like two little images here and this is like the raised line right there in the middle and you're supposed to squeeze an even amount on both sides so they said to do the color base and then the color developer so starting out with the color base I'm just gonna squeeze some of this and this can be used multiple times because I'm just not using a whole lot of this so I'm going to squeeze a little bit of the color base in here. And that's the color that you're going to get. It's kind of like a tannish yellow color in a way. But um, I just have a little bit there. There we go. I think you can see that. And I'm going to try to squeeze the exact amount of color developer in this on the other side. So I even. And that's how the color developer looks. It's just like a cream color. And for step two, we're going to use the end of the brush here just to mix it around. So, and yeah, I think I'm done with these now. <laughs> I'm not a huge instruction person. I just kind of go with the flow. I can read something once and kind of get how to do it. So, yeah, I'm just going to mix these together.
this is the mixture of color that we have right now it's like a caramel color and we're just gonna let that darken up a little bit before we apply it so while i'm letting that sit i'm gonna go into what you need to do for your eyebrows okay, there are a number of ways to do this i've seen some people do it with vaseline but the videos that i watched um most people did it with concealer so you're gonna start by just outlining your own eyebrows with concealer so that's the first one well, no, the first step is for me i'm gonna spoolie my eyebrows out just a little bit just to make sure they're all brushed in the right direction so i'm just gonna do that for both sides How you fill your eyebrows in but for me i'm going to be doing the opposite normally i fill in my eyebrow and then i conceal but today i'm going to be concealing first and then i'm going to be applying the eyebrow tint to my brows and i've never had my eyebrows tinted before so i'm really not sure like how the process normally goes if you go to like a professional or how the process goes if you know you kind of done you know at home or just by somebody you know i'm not sure if this is the process to it but if you have gotten yours done before let me know if it's anything similar so i'm just squeezing some of the concealer out on the back of my hand as i normally would to do my brows okay and that's pretty much it on that so we're gonna go straight into the step of applying the eyebrow tint i can find my top for my concealer so using this angle brush here and this is the color of the eyebrow um dye right now the instructions may have said to let this sit long i'm really not sure i'm just gonna go straight into <laughs> applying it i told you i don't like direction so and I'm just going to start like somewhere in the middle and just kind of work my way in and outward. And I'm just going to just grab just a tiny amount of it and just kind of how I would normally fill my eyebrow in even though I use an eyebrow pencil. But just some similar to how you fill your eyebrow in. I'm not putting as much at the front of my brow just because I don't like my brow to be like super dark there. So I'm going very light there and I'm going more heavy like towards the end because that's kind of where my eyebrows are more sparse at towards the tail of my brow. And that's like the finished product of the eyebrow tint on. So I'll come back in 10 minutes. Let me actually put my timer on right now so where's my timer I'm gonna set it for eight minutes zero seconds and starting right now and I'll be back to show you all how it looks okay 40 seconds left I'm excited I'm excited we pay oh time is up time is up Yeah, this is nothing I would professionally pay to get done just because it's not that deep to me. I actually like filling my brows in. So, moment of truth. Let's start taking this off. Okay. 
Okay, well, just from the first swipe off, it definitely did dye my brow some. Let me finish and get it all off. I did take a before picture so I'm going to show you like the before and after because I'm actually curious to know how big of a difference it is but I do see a difference I definitely do I'm sure if I use like my um my cellular water it'll take more off but yeah it's my finished brow <laughs> it worked it got darker. Let me hair up and start on this one. See if they're gonna look even. Running out of clean spots on my makeup wipe. <laughs> Does anyone else hate using two makeup wipes? I hate it. I just like I just feel like if I'm gonna use two makeup wipes, I might as well just go wash my face. That's pretty cool. Like, it looks kind of like I already feel my eyebrows in. <sighs> I'm, I'm happy. Let me finish so I can, I can see. I'm really scrub. Well, I'm not scrubbing, but I'm really working to make sure there's nothing left on here. But yeah. <laughs> This is the finished product and as you can see I've wiped my eyebrow pretty clean and it's like nothing on my hand or anything aside from I guess some dye got on my hand from when I was coloring it but oh well anywho but yeah so as you can see well you'll be able to see because I'm going to insert a before and after picture somewhere in here but so it did work. It really did work. Um, I left it on 10 minutes. So if you do it, I recommend leaving it on 10. I don't know if you're going to get a tint of some sort in five minutes, but I did leave it on like 10, probably give or take like a couple more minutes because as you do this brow, this one is starting to already tint. So I honestly thought this one was going to be so much darker than that one, but this one feels like it's darker to me. And maybe because I have a light, like you can see my hand is glowing a little bit. My light fixture is from this angle. So maybe that's why from the heat from the light, it helped this one maybe die better or something. But for the most part, they look pretty even, um, same length and everything. So I think I did a pretty good job with the concealer and the um, angle brush by making sure that it didn't get anywhere I didn't want it to get. Like this kind of looks like how my eyebrow looks when I fill them in. So... When I fill them in, I probably won't have to do much but to conceal them and maybe just feel a little bit here and right, right there. But yeah, I will say that this was cool um, just to show you the mixture. It is much darker now. So I do suggest when you mix it to go ahead and apply it to your eyebrow because I'm assuming the darker that it gets as it sits, the darker it will be on your eyebrow. So if, like if you're like more darker complexion than me, then you probably want to let your um, make sure sit a little bit longer but just for me I don't like my eyebrows too dark um, on my face like I don't want those black sharpie looking eyebrows so this is perfect for me this is just as dark as I need them to be so I probably will do this again just because I have a lot of the solution left so this box for I mean seven dollars is not expensive but it is kind of for me since I'm not into eyebrow tinting but I do think that I got my money's worth because I'll be able to use it over and over. So time will tell whether or not I do this again. I'll um after I do this video, I'll come back and I'll update my description box um with dates to show you all how long this lasted before I feel like it's just gonna fade away because this is not permanent, it's not gonna last forever. But I do thank you all for watching. Um let me know if you want to do want me to do other videos like this and give me some ideas of different things you want me to try out or different hacks. But um, as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.